Hi, Aaron Hip here with Kinetic Security Solutions. I wanted to introduce you to a new product I'm releasing called the Reloading Pro Block. Uh, this block is specifically aimed at competitive shooters and individuals that reload multiple cartridges. So the idea behind this block is instead of having five or six different blocks on your bench for the various cartridges or calibers that you reload, you've got one. Uh, so each block will accommodate 223 up to 338, 300 Norma, what have you, uh, in the same block. So 223, 6 BRA, 65 Creed, or 6 Creed, 308, 284 Winchester, 65 Som, 300 PRC, 300 Norma. Just as some examples, uh, every block, the holes are interchangeable, move around whatever you want, and you're good to go. Everything stays sturdy. It's not going to fall over on you when you reload. The other idea is that typically when you get reloading blocks, uh, they're 50 round count. So this block takes more of the approach of how many rounds do we need for an event, for a match. So you'll notice it's actually 60. And so why 60 versus 50? Because we don't really care how many rounds we're carrying in our bag. We have to have a certain number of rounds for that match. And typically one day matches are 100 to 110 rounds, two day matches are 200 to 220 rounds, something along those lines. So the idea being is, instead of going through a block and reloading a, a 50 round block two and a quarter times or two and a half times, run through one of these twice and you're done. You've got, you've got your, your round count for the day, you end up with 120 rounds, which gives you your 100 to 110, plus remaining rounds left over to zero, sight in and do some training. Additionally, uh, historically, reloading blocks have come with uh, an integrated reloading tray or no reloading tray. I'm sorry, an integrated bullet tray or no bullet tray at all. Uh, the other thing about the, the blocks that come with trays built into them is they're typically very shallow. They don't hold a lot of bullets. So you end up putting some in, grabbing another handful, and so on and so off throughout your reloading cycle. This, this reloading tray is actually really deep. So here we have a tray with an entire box of 6mm 105s from Burger. In this tray, we have an entire box of seven millimeter, 180 penny bullets. So you can see that the, the tray holds a significant amount of bullets. Also, historically, reloading trays have come with your tray in one position. It's usually at the end like this. Well, that's great if you like it like that, but not everybody wants their reloading tray or their bullet tray on the end of their block. They may orient the block like this on the bench, and they orient it like this on the bench. You may just want it if you're right-handed or left-handed. So, our tray is actually attachable or removable. You don't have to buy it if you don't want it. If you want it, it attaches to the end. It'll attach to the right side or left side. It'll attach to the middle. If you want to have your block hang off your bench like this or sit like this oriented towards you. Or it'll attach on the back side if you want your tray on the back side. Again, aimed at the competitive shooter, the shooter with multiple cartridges that doesn't want to take up a lot of bench space with five or six blocks. The other thing is, you know, some people want a larger block. Um, the nice thing about this is, with the linking arms, which are these little arms attached, you can see they're attached to this tray. They typically would not be, just here for showing it off. Um, if you want a larger block, you can use the linking arms and actually attach two blocks together. These are not going anywhere, it's sturdy, you're fine. They're very rigid. If you want to put another block on here, go for it. You want to put another block on here, go for it. Um, you could actually orient the blocks. So if you wanted a really big square block, you could orient four blocks and put them in this position. So it really just provides a lot of flexibility. Uh, I prefer flexibility. I prefer taking up as little real estate as possible on our bench. And so that's my concept on a reloading block. Again, these will be releasing here really soon. Uh, the the pre-orders will go live probably tomorrow or the following day. Uh, and these will start shipping in about two weeks. So I appreciate your time. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.